Will writing, great horrible subject. Why you should write a will, listen, there's lots of video, lots of content about this. Everybody just sort of ignores it. Everyone says, like, oh yeah, yeah, I'll get that done, ignore it. Watch this video and I promise you, I will convince you why you should be writing a will if you've got property, children, family, anything like that, okay? And if I haven't by the end of this video, let me know, let me know at the below why I haven't managed to convince you to write a will. Um, but um, please watch this topic, it's really important to every single one of you. If you've got property, you're looking to get into property, you've got family, you've got a business, you've got children, you need to write a will, but I'm gonna tell you why, and I'm gonna tell you from not a perspective of a will writing salesperson, I'm gonna tell you from someone who's had experience of the whole process. Thank you so much. Hi, it's Pyam here from Niche Advice. Thank you very much for watching these uh, videos. Ron, I'm gonna talk about a really nig boring topic, which is getting a will done. Now you could actually um, type in Google and, and, and YouTube and find lots of boring videos with really wrinkly old men with really old suits talking to you about writing a will and why it's so important to write a will. But I'm going to sort of hopefully uh, give you a different view of why you should be writing a will and why anybody that's got property um, out or it's a family person or has got business assets should write a will. So let's go through it and let me give you a little bit of history about myself. So when the crash happened last time round uh, in 2007-8, um, I used to be a director of a very large company. Um, I was a marketing director there so thankfully I wasn't one of the owners there. Um, so when that happened, uh, you know, the, the business went under, we had I don't know, 400 odd staff, and I was one of the staff, uh, to be fair, I think I was the, one of the last staff, I think I was the last staff, or the last four staff there to be made redundant. So once I was made redundant, we, me and my business partner now, Richard Stokes, we set up a niche advice, and we were becoming mortgage brokers. But the market was dead, nobody was buying, people were losing their jobs, you know, the housing market was all over the place, the mortgage market, nobody was lending. So we started, um, uh, to get through really um, started writing wills as part of the service because we felt look you know you'll, you'll get to know people you get to know people's finances and livelihoods and then maybe you can talk to them about life insurance and then eventually get into mortgages until the market comes back so we did that can I just tell you it was horrendous I really hated it um, it's a horrible subject to deal with um, and the the reason it, the reason it is is first of all everybody wants to put it, put it off. No one wants to deal with it. Secondly, no one thinks they're gonna die. And to be honest with you, you are gonna die. Every single one of you guys, including me, we will die eventually. So, but everybody sort of puts it back here, yeah, I'll deal with that later. And even now, when we deal with mortgages, one of the first thing we do when we get a mortgage offer is to say, look, you know, um, or as part of the process, look, you should write a will, and here's a process to write a will, and here's a firm that we've linked in with to write a will, and these are the reasons why you should. And it's always like, yeah, yeah, Pam, I will get that done, it's really important, but to be honest with you, once they don't do it, they don't do it. So if they don't do it at the part of the mortgage process, or during the process, or after the process, they tend not to do it. It's just there's always something else to to keep you occupied. Um, so um, I deal with, I've seen both end of it. So we've actually, we were will writers. So we used to write wills going back 10 odd years ago for people. We haven't done so for about five, six years now, maybe more, probably about eight years. We haven't, we haven't wrote wills. Um, but I remember, um, and then we used to go and visit people in their homes. And, uh, and trust me when I tell you, okay, first of all, it's, it's a horrendous topic to deal with because you're talking about, um, you know, you're talking about your loved ones dying, you dying, your children dying. What would happen if all of you go together? What would happen to your uh, assets? What will happen to, you know, all the precious things that you've got in your life that you think is yours? You know, all of those things are a goodwill writer would be talking to you about that. Okay, um, and it's 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 a process of um, elimination in terms of. You know what are, what's important to you what's not so important to you what do you put above this how do you deal with your estates what do you want to do with your uh, children um, in terms of how do you want them to be dealt with because if you don't you know uh, express your wishes if you don't put your guidelines in place do you want social services to take over I mean is that what you really want okay do you want to leave it to the government's hands to deal with your estate 
okay or you know the, the various rules that they've got and all of those things come into effect and and you sit there and you speak to somebody and they go no 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 actually I, I've got plans for this I've got, and they say well, why, why didn't you get the will done why don't you write your will and then and then you think right okay um, you, you get them to a place where they do want to write the will because most of the people I'll be honest with you most of the people when it comes to wills don't want to write a will they either get pushed into it by their partners or family members or they'll get a salesperson pushing them into it um, but really um, a lot of people are still not writing wills enough okay so this video really is a um, you know first-hand experience of someone who has done it is not doing it so I'm not pushing it down your throat now we have got a link up with a firm who's really good and they'll come and write your wills for you but whether you write a will or you know it's, I just feel that it's my duty really um, as someone that deals with mortgages and as someone that sees the other side of it okay and I'll explain what the other side is in a minute but I see both sides so I see the people that are writing the wills um, we've wrote wills for people so I've seen people that have we've literally been in their house wrote a will for them and then you get a call to say that person's passed away um, you know that that person is no longer around so they're dealing with a will dealing with the administration of someone passing away and I also get a lot of inquiries because if you put um, if, in fact if you put mortgage for inherited properties and I will put a link up there um, I've actually done a video on mortgage for inherited properties because I do lots and lots of mortgages for people who have died who have not don't have wills or may have wills that have got lots of properties so and there's all sorts of problems okay especially if there's no will in place but even if there has been a will there's lots of problems because they're, they're generally sometimes they're mortgaged the mortgage lender doesn't exist anymore they went out of business and, and how do you remortgage them how do you pass on the assets to somebody else? so I see it from people that write a will and how you write the will and how customers react in regards to some of the conversations you have with them to the actual people of dying and then to the actual um, inquiries new inquiries I get unrelated for for estate management now let, let's go through some of the some of the bits and pieces one um, you should really write a will because you want to have control okay you want to have the say why leave it to somebody else to have a say about your assets okay um, they're reasonably cost-effective I think a couple of hundred pounds really if, you, if it's a decent will there are um, uh, you can do a single will or joint will if you're married um, there are lots of other reasons why you should write a will whether you've had uh, previous marriages previous children from other marriages businesses um, uh, if you've got your own children you want to de determine what what happens to them specific assets specific wealth properties what should be uh, how should be distributed uh, from a tax planning perspective it could be helpful and uh, certainly from an inheritance tax planning perspective it could be helpful as well um, um, generally it, it puts your wishes into one clear document okay um, and uh, really it's a legal document so you really are expressing everything that needs to happen uh, and you can you can do a side letter and put a, a letter of wishes together but you know there were I could go on and on and on about writing a will but basically get one if you own a property get one you need to write one and how you how can you go and write one uh, we've got an affiliate link with a company which we refer our existing mortgage clients to um, I'll leave a link below fill in the form they'll get in touch with you they're very good we've never had any problems with them so that's one idea you can actually obviously Google it and there are lots of firms out there um, that offer their services whether it's you know online wills or whether it's telephone wills or whether it's face-to-face uh, -face meetings I'd perfectly personally always say you know when you're dealing with matters like that and if it can be a little bit more complicated I would always go for a personal approach I don't really you know do you want to deal with all your estates and all your everything on a 10 minute online will I'm not sure if I I would feel comfortable I'd want to have a conversation about people I want to find out the process I want to know a little bit more than a checkbox in a on a form so that's my uh, bit of information around it um, there are uh, a number of organizations so there's the Society of Will Writers Institute of Professional Will Writers there is um, there's step who are a big organization to do with estate planning obviously there's the law society so and make sure that uh, the, the will writing company because it is a non-regulated entity okay and that's really important you could in theory be I decide you're going to be a will writer okay um, so 
Uh, it's non-regulated. A lot of those entities that I've just mentioned, a lot of those trade bodies, the Society of Will Writers and all the Law Society, and obviously Law Society is Law Society, but uh, even the Will Writing entities, now they've got a code of conduct uh, and, and they've got uh, you know professional indemnity insurance and so forth. So just double check that you're working with a reputable firm. Um, but yeah, get it written. You know, don't push it back. Don't think, oh, I'm, I'm, you know, well, money's a bit tight at the moment. Don't, you won't do it. And that's the whole point. The whole point is watch this video and act on it. Click on the link below and speak to someone and get that information out and, and, and put yourself in a strong position. Because what happens is, I'll give you an example. I deal with regularly buy to let portfolios that the father's passed away or the mother's passed away and it's in mayhem. Now sometimes we have to, it costs them thousands and thousands of pounds to move things and to the children's names and move them from assets and then you've got the whole probate situation get to take that to take months and months sometimes so there are real ways where a will write a will and a will writing services can help you to put not only protect yourselves but protect your loved ones and, and let me tell you the experience is those lovely children that you think you've got those lovely children that are never gonna argue oh it's all good they all understand I've had a conversation with them guess what they argue when you're not there guess what when you're dead and you've got lots of property sitting around everywhere, they're gonna have an argument. Guess what? Their wives are gonna have an argument. Guess what? Their extended family members are all gonna have an argument over your money. So why put that on them? Put it on yourself, deal with it. Just like you deal with a mortgage, you'd phone me to ask me for a mortgage. You'd phone me about insurances, life insurances, and all the other bits and pieces. So take that on that responsibility and do something about it rather than leave it to the state or leaving to some barrister, or some, some lawyer, some accountant to deal with your estate and charge you a hell of a lot of money because you couldn't be bothered. So um, I hope you find this useful. Bit of a negative, uh, bit, bit, bit of a negative video. However, the subject is horrible. <laughs> okay, it really is. And I'm not going to put a bright smile and, and put it through. It's horrible, but it needs to be dealt with. And everybody who's hopefully watching my channel or interested in property if you have got a property if you are if you are married or you're not married or you you know any of those circumstances run your own business write a will fill in the form below and we will get in touch and i'll get i'll get the firms to get in touch with you we've got a couple of firms we deal with nation, nationwide but yeah i uh, hope you found this useful i hope you found this more useful than some of the other corporate people standing there with ties and suits on and telling you uh, why you should consider drafting a will but um, this is the real truth, guys. And, and honestly, in this channel, I always try to give you the truth. Thank you so much. Take care. The content of this video does not constitute giving advice. It's purely for information purposes. All cases should be discussed with a professional mortgage broker. As a mortgage is secured against your home or property, it could be repossessed if you do not keep up mortgage payments. Niche advice is authorized and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority.